Oh, that must be a side. Oh, yuck. <laughs> that's terrible. Ooh. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my God. That's a war crime. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Carrie Fisher in Rogue One, eat your heart out. You see the title of this video, you know what movie we're watching, but I don't know what movie we're watching because I pitched a video to Glenn and I said, hey, what if for your birthday and also for Oscar season, you just pick a movie and we'll watch it and I won't know what it is until the day that we watch it. So now I'm going to find out right now what movie we're about to watch. That's right. Here are my guesses to what this movie could possibly be. Okay. Okay. One of my guesses is Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. Another one of my guesses is Green Book. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew it. Well, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You did know it. You're super smart. Jedi. <laughs> Jedi. All right, everybody. <laughs> we are watching Forrest Gump, a uh, Robert Zemeckis, Zemeckis film. film. <laughs> Jinx, knock on wood, you owe me a fucking fat kiss. Hey. Oh, man, we're going to cry so much. Are we? Jesus. Yeah, dude, this movie's super emotional. When was the last time you've seen Forrest Gump, brother? <laughs> like last year. Oh, I haven't seen it in a couple years, and I remember I, when I watched it, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, is he going to make me watch Green Book? <laughs> no, don't worry. I, I don't want to watch that ever in my life again. I mean, but we might run out of movies at some point. <laughs> I don't think we will. Uh, this is one of the last great movies that Robert Zemeckis made. He was kind of on a hot streak from, I want to say, either Back to the Future or Romancing the Stone. And then his streak kind of ended with Contact. That movie's like a nine to me. But I know a lot of people like Castaway. How do you feel about Castaway? Do you like that movie? Castaway is a good movie. I like it. I think it's, I haven't seen it in like, what, maybe 10 years, to be honest. But... I do like Castaway. Oh, okay. I think it's fine, and also they spoiled the whole movie in the trailer, so like you already know where oh, it's yeah, going. Oh, yeah, for but... sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I wasn't watching movies like that at that time. Hey, this is the shot from Monster House. Do you remember with the leaf? <laughs> the good movie Monster House. Also produced by Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg. So part of the reason I chose this movie to watch is because of um, Vietnam and dodging a draft, because that seems very relevant nowadays. Oh, yeah, because we are dodging this fucking draft. <laughs> are you kidding? You already know it, brother. Just kidding. There's not going to be a draft. As soon as we get involved, it's Nuke City. It's fucking yeah, over. Yeah, you know the vibes. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. She said they was my magic. Okay, that part was kind of funny. <laughs> Not because of the movie, but because of like how people have made fun of the Oscar bait movie and how they start. They all basically start like this. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, kind of. I also hate the term Oscar bait. I mean, I understand it, to be honest. <laughs> like, what's the Oscar bait? For? You remember that movie? Um, Green Book? Black Mass? <laughs> now, when I was a baby, Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. She said we was related to him in some way, and what he did was he started up this club. Oh, wait, I don't remember this part. Oh, you don't? No. Like a bunch of ghosts or spooks or something. That he <laughs> what? A bunch of what? Now his IQ is 75. I wonder what a normal IQ is. I'm going to Google that right now. IQ is like eugenics bullshit, but I think it's like 100 or something. Between 85 and 115. That's the average IQ score. Have you had an IQ test? Never in my life. I did it once out of uh, curiosity. Where do you even do that? Online. Oh, I should probably do that. I want to see. Mine is 127, I think. Ooh, smarty pants. Above average is 130. I'm three points almost oh, damn. smart. Yeah, I'm a fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, that split diopter, hiding it with the nighttime. Nice. I think that one movie, um, Tropic Thunder, made fun of that with a uh, simple Jack. Was it? It was making fun of the trend of actors playing characters with mental differences, like Tom Hanks mm -hmm. in this, Billy Bob Thornton in fucking Sling Blade, Sean Penn in I Am Sam. Oh <laughs> man, that's the one. <laughs> I saw that movie as a kid, and I was like, this is kind of messed up. Ooh, hey, look at Forrest go. Hey. I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. You can sit here if you want. <laughs> you can sit here if you want. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! That's that line from that movie. There's a lot of those lines in this, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, for real. This is when Forrest goes uh, ultra instinct. 
<laughs> the power of bullying. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm dying. If people with physical disabilities got bullied enough, they'd be able to just run straight. That's right. Hell yeah, brother. The Confederate flag. Holy shit. I did not notice that. <laughs> <laughs> what is their plan exactly? <laughs> I'm going to hit him with the car. <laughs> They're just going to kill him? Ooh, spatial discontinuity. Coons are trying to get into school. Coons. Who? Coons. Coons trying to get on our back porch. Mom just chasing them off with a broom. Not raccoons, you idiot niggas. Yikes. Man, the world used to be racist. Used to be? Oh, hell no, the real footage with Forrest Gump in it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I gotta pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. Ooh, that looked rough. <laughs> Super rough. You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. I only have an IQ of 127. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that song from that war. It is that song from that war. Holy shit. Now, those are some computer-generated helicopters, brother. Stick with me. You learn from the guys who've been in country a while, you'll be all right. When I saw Lieutenant Dan, I was like, Gary Sinise, okay, he was in something we did a commentary on recently. He's the therapist for Clay Jensen in 13 Reasons Why. I just remembered. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. And how I was looking forward to getting a letter from her just as soon as she had. Have you seen Chunking Express? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. It's a film by Wong Kar Wai. They play this song at least 20 times in a row. <laughs> really? You know how, like, there's main motifs throughout a movie? That song is the motif of the movie. This never <laughs> <laughs> good movie though or no it's a good movie yeah okay i think you might have to see it more than once oh since we're watching a movie about or not about tom hanks but with tom hanks i think this would be a missed opportunity if we did not talk about his son chet hanks Ooh, his son what happened to his son do i have to introduce you to chet hanks do i have to do that yeah to you? you might have to do i have you to be the one who to. does it he's the one who does the patois all the time big up the whole island massive it's your boy chet and I. Coming straight from that golden gloves, you know what I'm saying? He created White Boy Summer. Boy, White Boy Summer. Got your favorite Instagram, bitch, DM in a number. Nah, I don't know You what don't that know is. about Chet Hanks? Oh my god, I'm about <laughs> no. to ruin your life. Hacksaw Ridge, 2016. This moment right here? Yeah. Hacksaw Ridge is a bad movie, by the way, in my opinion. Yeah, it's super bad. It's not a good movie. I'm sure the story itself could have made a great movie or something, but Mel Gibson's direction is just awful. Best film editing of 2016, apparently. Wait, won that? Yeah, it did. When Arrival came out that year, by the way. Yeah, that's a huge yikes. This is me in every first-person shooter, honestly. Running away? No, carrying the team. Oh. <laughs> Four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services. America owes you a debt of credit. Oh, we. Did you see that? Oh, that must be a sight. Oh, yuck. <laughs> That's terrible. Ooh. Oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my God. That's a war crime. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Carrie Fisher in Rogue One, eat your heart out. <laughs> Could have just had actors do it and recreate. I was thinking that. Why didn't they just do that? Because technology and... They didn't stop to think if they could, or what's the fucking line from Jurassic Park? Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. I already know that water is dirty. I would never hurt you, Jenny. I know you wouldn't, Forrest. Forrest, I'm ableist, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna duck you for two decades, and then I'm gonna fuck you one time and then die. <laughs> and now you have my kid. It's all right. He has millions of dollars, so. Forrest Gump? More like Forrest Cuck. <laughs> Am I right? I kid. I kid. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. That's right. That's right. I have to say that to my girl tomorrow. You should call her Jedi for the whole day. <laughs> I love she Jedi. <laughs> She's going to be like, please stop. Is that the real John Lennon? Yeah, but he would have been dead for at least four, 13, 14 years by the time this movie came out. People hardly got nothing at all. No possessions? Oh, I hate this. Oof. It's so bad. It's technically bad and just like... They never go to church. No religion too? He inspired Imagine? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, this is so... Ew. This is so annoying. Ew. And because he didn't have no legs, he spent most of his time 
exercising his arms. I understood that reference as an adult. Hey, we got a couple grenades over here. The grenade whistle. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay, because remember when we were watching The Dark Knight, I was talking about how people were saying that Maggie Gyllenhaal wasn't beautiful enough, and that no one in movies is ugly anymore, and look, sometimes you'll find a Robin Wright, you know, in a movie, they'll be like one of the main casts, or maybe like in one scene, but now everyone, mm -hmm. everyone is Robin Wright. No, 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 I know of a much nicer hotel, it's brand new, very modern, I'll have my people take care of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, it's the technology, but also the lines, dude. The Gump Mao table tennis? Can you use the paddles to like kill landlords with it or what? Like how does that work? Bro, how can you see right there? <laughs> stupid is as stupid does. <laughs> I'd never named a boat before. I bet you I know what he names it. That's right. Jedi. Cocaine! Ooh, not cocaine. Cocaine's one hell of a drug. Uh oh. Shout out Rue. Yeah, right? What's it do? It turns all your bad feelings into good feelings. It's a nightmare. She ain't even thinking about Forrest. I thought about Jenny all the time. <laughs> Damn, Forrest. <laughs> simp. Bubba Gump Shrimp, more like Bubba Gump Simp. <laughs> the Virgin Forrest versus the Chad Jenny. <laughs> I think about you all the time. I don't even know who you how are we gonna find them? Well, maybe you should just pray for shrimp. <laughs> the Kubrick stare is a common. <laughs> Biola Battery's entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. Only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Louise! Louise, that's forced. They put all the black people out of business? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what? He prayed and then God put all the black people out of business? <laughs> what the fuck? Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> now you're a millionaire, I should come to you. <laughs> Jordans! Bro, she went on the sneakers app. She got that shit right away. <laughs> I kind of want a house like that in the middle of nowhere. Just to vibe. Why? I don't know. Just to, to be away from it all. To have bad internet. Fucking weird people <laughs> near you. Ticks. <laughs> fucking, uh, ticks. <laughs> you son of a bitch. She's crazy. Bro, she's cold-blooded. At least she made the bed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't use it. Yeah, that's true. I would be so mad. <laughs> I would be so mad. Bro? <laughs> they need to make an edit. <laughs> it's a puts MAGA on a MAGA hat. <laughs> <laughs> And then people are just like, that's right! And from that moment on, <laughs> I started to hate women a little bit. <laughs> Do you know why he's running? Do you have an idea? Do you want to interpret the film? Maybe to escape the pain of Jenny leaving? That's true. That could be a, an interpretation. What is it? What do you see it as? I mean, there's no right answer, even though everything I say is true, except for, you know, predicting <laughs> that one thing in Batman and Robin that I got wrong. It's Forrest Gump trying to understand why Jenny left him and where she's going and trying to understand why she runs away from everything. Mm -hmm. Because in the beginning of the montage here, they show him wearing her sneakers as he's running. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think it's just him trying to understand her. Because everything else he's basically done for her, so. Can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. Hello. Oh, can I go watch TV now? Haley Joel Osment. One of the GOAT child actors of all time. He says that one line from that one movie. Pretty sure Tom Hanks won this, his second consecutive Oscar in this scene right here. I think they were all like, yeah, I think we'll just do it again. Fuck it. What was the first one for? Philadelphia. He played a man with AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he played a man who was in love with someone who got AIDS and died in Forrest Gump. No one... <laughs> Oh, God. No one has benefited more from AIDS besides Ronald Reagan than Tom Hanks. <laughs> Ooh, this one doesn't have anything on it, too. So it's even easier. He's getting ready. <laughs>
He took him out of Georgia schools and put him in Alabama. That's like such a downgrade. That's fucking crazy. It ends where it begins. A Jedi is flying off into the sunset. Jedi. We have seen Forrest Gump. All right. So before we talk about the film in depth, let's uh, let's talk about these Oscars that this fucking movie won. Do you know how many Oscars this movie won or do you want to take a guess? Let me take a guess. I'm going to say seven. Ooh, very close. It won six. Oh, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. What's the record? All of them, right? The record is 11. And there's 12 categories? There's 22 or 24. You'd have to be like a short film that's also a foreign language, that's also a documentary, that's also animated. It won Best Visual Effects. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> what was it up against? Uh, The Mask... Forrest Gump and True Lies. Only three movies? I mean, I guess this is like the easy choice because of like how they were able to put Forrest and all those like archival footage things. But goddamn, some of those things look fucking gross. And I mean, we're already <laughs> talking. It's just fucking weird. I probably would have given it to True Lies, to be honest. That movie's awesome. There's some fun yeah, stuff in Yeah, movie's good. There. I like that movie. Best film editing. Uh, Speed, Shawshank Redemption, Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, and Hoop Dreams, which is a documentary about basketball, which is apparently one of the best documentaries ever. I haven't seen it yet, but it's on my list, and it's been on my list for like 10 years. I just haven't gotten around to seeing it because it's four hours. Oh, it's four hours. Good Lord. Yeah, it's a big boy. So yeah, what do you think Forrest Gump deserved the best editing Oscar? No, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of like the editing more in uh, Pulp Fiction. What's it called? Pulp Fiction, yeah. Yeah, there's some writing stuff that would make that that way but there's like specific moments in there that are like editing exactly i haven't seen the shawshank redemption in a long time so i don't know if i would have given it to that one no i i don't think so speed is fun speed is fun maybe speed or pulp fiction best writing screenplay based on material previously produced or published so best adapted screenplay forrest gump the madness of king george nobody's fool starring paul newman quiz show Oh, that's been on my list for a while. And the Shawshank Redemption. Okay. I probably would have given it to Shawshank, even though I haven't seen the other nominees, but, uh, uh, you know, out of Forrest Gump and Shawshank. Yeah. Robert Redford for Quiz Show, Forrest Gump, Robert Zemeckis, Nobody for Bullets Over Broadway, Nobody Directed That Movie, uh, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino for Pulp Fiction, and Kurzitzstav Kieslowski for Three Colors Blue. This is a very stacked list. Who would you have given it to? And do you think that Robert Zemeckis should have won it? Pulp Fiction, to be honest, <laughs> again. Because, like, the direction of that movie is crazy. For me, it's between Pulp Fiction and Three Colors Blue. That movie is so good. And, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just Juliette Binoche being sad for two hours. And what more could you ask for? Let's see. Best actor in a leading role. Paul Newman in Nobody's Fool. John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump. Nigel Hawthorne in The Madness of King George, and Morgan Freeman in The Shawshank Redemption. Forrest Gump, that's fine, from what I've seen. He does something kind of special in this movie where he's in the pocket, you know, like if he stepped out a little bit, it would just be so embarrassing and bad and just embarrassing and bad. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow he pulled it off. I don't know. That like I would be so scared if I was Tom Hanks and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to play this type of character. I'm going to do this movie." I'd be fucking terrified the whole time, and I'd probably fuck mm -hmm. it up just just because I was fucking scared. But I think I have to see Shawshank again. I haven't seen it in a long time. Quiz Show, Pulp Fiction, Shawshank, Four Weddings and a Funeral, and Forrest Gump. I think this goes to Pulp Fiction. It should have. Yeah, I think so too, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Well, since we're talking about the best movie of the year, what do you think about Forrest Gump now? It's kind of super dated, but I'm like, I was also thinking like the movie isn't like dependent on the effects, so like, I guess it could get away with that. I thought he was super charming, and I thought like the movie itself was super charming. I was kind of like smiling at a bunch of stuff, but towards the end, like with the smiley face shirt guy and the shit happens bumper sticker guy, I was kind of like, okay, the this origin is kinda... story for the entirety of American culture. <laughs> I was kind of like, all right, this is kind of stupid. It definitely shouldn't have won Best Picture, but this is not the movie that's shown to kids in film school from this year, so. It's it's a fun story, I guess, but, like, I feel like the main thing is with Jenny, and I feel like most of the interesting parts are either with Jenny or Lieutenant Dan, mm -hmm. and Jenny's barely in it, except for the beginning and the end. Yeah, just the American history bullshit I just don't care about at all. 
with time and, you know, it not aging well, but also with the way that people have taken that philosophy and applied it to, like, dead actors over the last, like, 10 or so years, it's just really gross. And looking back on it now, like, this is the catalyst for those things, or it's one of the catalysts for those things. Also, for me, I think that the the technology aspect and hyper-focusing on that and making movies just to do that is partly why I think Robert Zemeckis' movies haven't been as good since Contact. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he started doing, like, all CG movies. Like, I think it's A Christmas Carol, if I'm not... Like, the one with Jim Carrey. And um, Polar Express and fucking Beowulf and Welcome to Marwin and fucking all of those movies. And it's like... Can you just make a like a real movie for a, a second, yeah, please? <laughs> Damn, dude, you're like you're sacrificing your whole filmography for CGI. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> <sighs> also, yeah, I want to say real quick, I don't like Jenny. She was the worst. Yeah, Dad, I... it's not even the fact that she didn't really want anything to do with him for the most part, even though she had some feelings. I guess it's the fact that she just led him on for all that time, and she knows that he doesn't know better, so she just like let it happen. Mm -hmm. It's not entertaining if the characters are perfect, but goddamn, you know. <laughs> I think I'm giving Forrest Gump a seven out of ten. Me too. <laughs> Me too. It's a solid good movie. And I'm pretty sure every Oscar bait joke is like literally because of this movie. Yeah, I see that. Because it is. Like if this, if Forrest Gump came out in 2022, dude, <laughs> this would have been shit on so hard. Yeah. For Are sure. you kidding me? This would have been this year's being the Ricardos, you know? <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> All right. Well, the Oscars are coming up. The nominees are kind of whack. And I hate it. Are you going to watch it? Oh, yeah, of course. I watch every year. Are you kidding? I love being tortured. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> if you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Do all the things. The Matrix video is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you thought of the Oscar noms. Did Forrest Gump deserve best picture, etc., etc.? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other people make movies.